Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a sharp turn from a stop. I will share five tips that will help you successfully complete this exercise. And I will cover some common mistakes. So stay right there. Hey, I'm Paul the Motor Guy and welcome to my channel where I pass on riding tips, practice drills, and defensive riding strategies. For those that are here for the first time, I'm a rider coach, a motorcycle sergeant, and owner and instructor at Pro Rider Central Texas, where we teach police riding skills to civilian riders. So if you're ready to improve your riding skills, then hit the subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. So let's say you're at a bike event and you need to pull out, but there's a bike parked about eight feet in front of you. What do you do? Well, right now, you probably make a 20 point turn to get out. Well, maybe not a 20 point turn, but you know what I mean. Or what if you're stopped at an intersection or a stop sign and you need to make a sharp right handed turn? How many of you are still going wide? Well, this exercise will help tighten up those turns. Now, after I cover the five tips, I will go outside, break things down and then write this for you. Now, the first tip is you guessed it. Head and eyes. Just like any other exercise, head and eyes are crucial for this exercise. You want to look as far down the lane as you can, like in this photo. In this exercise, riders usually end up looking at the barrier, and because of this, they end up hitting the barrier. Now tip number two is handlebar turn. You want to turn the handlebars in the direction of your turn. Now you want to have the handlebar at full lock, or slightly shorter forelock. By having them a little shorter forelock will give you some reserve if you need it. Now some riders tend to open up the handlebars too soon which causes them to hit the barrier. Now if you find this happening to you, here's the fix. As you can see in this photo, instead of looking down the lane, you can look further to the right. This will help you keep the handlebars turned a little longer which will keep you off the barrier. Now you'll do the same thing for your left turns. Now tip number three is your feet. You need to put the foot down in the direction that you're going. So if you're going to the left, your left foot will be down and your right foot will be on the foot peg. And if you're going to the right, then your right foot will be down and your left foot will be on the foot peg. Now when we go outside, I will show you why this helps. Now tip number four is motorcycle lean. You want to lean the motorcycle in the direction of your turn. This will help you tighten up the turn from the beginning. Now tip number five is throttle and friction zone. You want to make sure your RPMs are steady before you engage the friction zone. And then when you're ready to pull out, you want to stay in the friction zone until the motorcycle gets into the lane and then you can slowly release the clutch lever and ride off. Now most riders tend to release the clutch lever too fast when pulling out. Now when you take off too fast, this causes the handlebars to straighten out and you will go wide and run over the barriers. So it needs to be a slow, controlled takeoff. Now for my demo, I will simulate a T intersection and the lane I'm pulling into is six feet wide. Now you can start with the lane wider than that if you want and then change the distance as your skill level improves. The next video will show you why putting your foot down in the direction of your turn is beneficial. So if I'm going to the left, watch what happened to the motorcycle when I put my left foot down and my right foot on the foot peg. See how the motorcycle has a natural lean? Now notice what happens when I switch feet. See how this causes the motorcycle to lean slightly to the right? Now if I try to turn from this position, I would be fighting the motorcycle. Because I'm going to the left, but the motorcycle is leaning to the right. Now let's watch it from the right side. Now while you're watching my demo, I want you to pay attention to my head and eyes and how I never look at the barrier. Also, I want you to look at how I let the motorcycle lean underneath me and how I pick my foot up as the motorcycle starts to move. Now let's go outside and I'll walk you through it and then I'll ride this thing for you. Okay, so now we're outside. It's a little windy. I hope the audio comes out okay. I got my dad cat on as you can see. But now I'm going to walk you through this exercise and then I'm going to ride it for you. So what you want to do, you want to come up. In between the two cones, put your front tire, stop here. Now I'm going to go to the left first. So I'm going to turn the handlebars to the left, either full lock or close to full lock. Now my left foot's going to be down because I'm going to the left. My right foot will be up. I'm going to search to the right for traffic. Search back to the left. Now I'm going to look at something far out in the distance. Now, 
When I'm ready to go, I'm going to roll on the throttle, slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. When the bike starts pulling me, I'm going to pick my feet up, continue to have my handlebars turn, the back up, and then slowly ride off like you're riding in traffic. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the right. So to the right, again, I'm going to turn my handlebars. This time my right foot will be down, my left foot will be up because I'm going to the right. I'm going to search to the left. Now I'm going to search for something far out in the distance on the right. And again, I'm going to roll on the throttle, slowly release the clutch lever. The bike starts pulling me. I pick the feet up, slowly drive out, and then straighten the handlebars and then ride off. Now on the right side, your rear brake foot is down. So you can use your rear brake, but you have to pick your right foot up first and then apply a rear brake if you need to slow down to make your turn. When you're going to the left, your foot's already on the brake, so you can just apply it gently, drag it if you need it, it'll tighten up your turns. So this is what people have a tendency to doing is they have a tendency of starting out too quick. So what happens when you do that, the bars want to straighten out, because remember, the motorcycle always wants to go straight. So if I start out here and I give too much throttle and then let the clutch out too quick, the handlebars want to straighten out and it's going to ride me outside the barrier. So your takeoffs have to be nice and smooth takeoffs. They have to be nice, smooth, under control, handlebars stay stern, and then you ride off. Now, I hope this video gave you some things that will help you when you're practicing your sharp turns from a stop. Now, if you found value in this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any tips for this exercise. And until next time, practice, practice, practice and ride safe.